Hey guys, Steve here with Potent Ponics over at Organic Innovations. We're back with our springtime series on how to prevent aphids and other common springtime pests in your aquaponic garden. But today we're going to be releasing green lace wings. They come on these little tabs, which come on these long sheets. As you can see here, it's quite long. Um, and you just put one tab per plant, and these little guys hatch out. Uh, they turn into larvae that look kind of like a much meaner version of a ladybug larva. Uh, and then they turn into a pupa, and then they turn into these adults here. And they eat quite a few uh, in, uh, more insects a day than ladybugs do. Also, they're much more sustainable. These guys are, are captively raised, whereas ladybugs are often wildly harvested, which is not good for the environment, and certainly not good if you like having wild ladybugs in, uh, in California and, and the other places in the west where they are harvested, usually with the shop backs and things. It's not sustainable and uh, you know, you're far better off going with the things like lace wings and other things that can be captively raised uh, and um, you know, work much better. Um, these guys eat more per day and they're cheaper. You know, this, these whole, I forget how much this costs, but it's much cheaper uh, to do a much larger space than the ladybugs are. And they, they, again, do a much better job. So again, if you're thinking about doing something uh, to, to help prevent aphids in your garden, either in this, as a preventative or maybe you have some aphids in your garden, in your aquaponic system, this is a, definitely one of the best options that you can have. And you can see here we have a whole bunch of happy plants. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys again soon. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoy this content. Um, we're going to uh, go ahead and hang a couple of these. So we'll switch hands here. Let's go ahead and hang this guy. Just hang it right on the branch. And they'll hatch out, climb up the plant, and eat any bugs that happen to find their way in. These guys will actually eat a wide range of insects, uh, not just aphids, but uh, white flies, uh, fungus gnats, a um, whole wide range of different bugs that are common in your garden. And they also, you know, they fly so they can take off and, and go hunt some food when they're adults. So definitely a great option. So yeah, there we have it, just hanging on. Thanks again, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys again soon. Cheers.